winterizing a 26RR camper. So down here, the water heater, there's two valves you gotta switch right there on top, and then one on the bottom, you gotta close those. Then come over into the bathroom. There's a little panel here. Take the screws out. I just set it right inside here. Take this hose here. It's already there. You gotta unscrew this little cap here. Let's set my phone down here. Then you take the cap off, take this little plug out of here, stick it inside of your RV antifreeze, switch the valve back here, and then I'm going to turn the pump on right here. And that's going to suck the antifreeze right down in and start filling up the lines. And then you got to turn on your water until the pink antifreeze comes out. Do the other side, do the hot water side until the pink comes out. There it is. And as it's draining, it's sucking that down. Then you go over to here to your toilet. Step on that. Gets all the water out. There's the paint. Let it run for a while. Build up a little bit inside of your uh, toilet there. And then Make sure you leave a little bit there to keep that seal. Then you go over here to your sink. Get everything out of your sink. Turn your water on until the pink antifreeze comes out. Get the line drained out. Make sure you run enough to fill up a little bit inside the trap so it don't crack and freeze. Then do the hot water side of it. So it's all pink. Let it keep coming. Now that's going to go in your gray tank. Okay, so it sucked all of the antifreeze out of this one. So I'm getting another one out. Typically takes about two of these. You stick that in there. And you go do it again. Run this on the till it comes out. There we go. Got to starting to get a consistent the pumps full now. Because once the pump stops, then you know your lines are full. So there's that. So out of the hot, solid pink. Out of the cold, solid pink. So that's good there. The bathroom's all done because I ran it out of the hot. Consistent. Then you do the, the cold side, consistent. Then you want to do your shower. I always just take it down and get it low as I can. So that's solid on the cold. And 
now it's solid on the hot. So the lines are full. Then you go out to the outside shower, which is outside here. I'll show you that quick and then that's all you got to do. But don't forget to drain your hot water tank. So here's the outside shower. So you just turn on that a little bit. There, it's consistent. Then do the hot. And that's consistent, so everything's sealed up there. It's all got the antifreeze in it, so you don't have to worry about the outside water lines freezing up. Then you go over here, your water meter, which I did this earlier. You got a pressure relief valve that you want to use. I'll show you that here in a second. So right here is your pressure release valve. I already pulled up on it. You pull up on it, and that lets all, it'll squirt water, so don't stand right in front of it. And then you go down here and take your your hot water heater. This is the I can't remember the name of it. Iod, iod or something diode, and it heats the water. So you take that out. I think it's a inch and an eighth socket, and I had to use like a half inch drive. But I got that out, and then all the water shoots out of there, and let that drain out, and that's all you have to do for this uh, 26RR camper, because when I ran that uh, pink antifreeze down the toilet and I held it, there's going to be pink antifreeze down here, so it's going to seal up that so it won't freeze, and then also the gray tank, when I used the sinks enough in there to keep that from messing up too so that's it for gray wood gray wolf 26 rr it's a gray wolf limited toy hauler that's all there is to it for this uh winterizing on this one here i don't have any like outside sinks or anything you don't have to worry about that but this camper is pretty nice. I like the way the size of it. It's got a big fridge. Big freezer. Microwave up there. Stove down here. It's got lights. And this is just running on the battery. And I got a couch over there. Got my four wheel in here. We've got my grandson up back there. And then that other uh, couch folds up. And you got a big picture window here. Cabinets up top. And storage up there. Lights everywhere. But, yeah. So, there you go. Thanks a lot. And uh, have a good day. This is Art signing out. If that helps, let me know, like, and subscribe. Thanks, have a good day.